I'm going to show you how to make a street light. C++ console. Don't actually recommend using the console for graphics, but if you need it on a one-off, this is how you do it. You can download some graph paper from the internet. Put 00, zero in the top left corner and go along and down. So 00, zero is your first cell. And just draw the shape. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake. This will save you a lot of time later on. Go to GameTutorials.com and complete the tutorial color text. Tells you how to work everything. Tells you how to position text. Tells you how to color text. And then go to Wikipedia, code page 437. This will show you the character set you need to show the blocks you've just drawn on the downloadable graph paper. So all these shapes are available to you. So if we select row D, column B, we'll get the block. See that the row D column B. If we add the code backslash lower X. And then D and B. The D and B can be capitals. So if I show one more example. So we'll use row F. Column E. The code will be backslash X and then we take the F from the row and the E from the column. So if you've completed the gametutorials.com make life a lot easier. So we've got our headers that we need to include in the draw color string section. So we've got the, the street light there which we saw at the star. Got a simple tip here. If you put in color zero G in the system and compile. It'll bring up the, the colors that you can use. So for instance, if you wanted a black background, you put in zero. With white text, you put in zero seven. The background comes first, and then the foreground text comes second. Okay, so now use the graph paper downloaded earlier. This will save you a lot of time when you're compiling. Okay, so the draw color string is the backslash xdb. We've got background intensity and foreground intensity. Put these together and you'll get gray.
Okay, you probably noticed my spelling mistake of experiment above. There is a couple of spelling mistakes in my comment. So we'll change color zero G back to zero seven. Compile and there's the part of the street light. Okay, so we've got in some other code now, so we've got the first block above the light. Okay, so there's the part that drops down. You can see the two numbers afterwards, the 14 and the 2, showing you where the place on the screen from your graph paper. Okay, so there's the half block. Is the stem and down to the base of the lamppost. Okay, so there's some more of the street light. You just follow the graph, it will make it really easy to draw. You can see it's a street lamp now. Okay, so we're going to add the light. Just follow what's on the screen, it's quite simple. Okay, so our street light's taking shape. And there we go. So these are the half blocks underneath the head of the lamp. Okay, and if you wanted to, you could change, make it put a different yellow to get a different, different color.
this is just an example if you did want to do it don't actually do it in the finished part We've got foreground intensity there, just makes it, as it says, brighter. If you remove the foreground intensity, then it'll just be a darker color. Okay, so you can see there's just an idea there if you wanted to change it. Just changing it back now from before the example of the different types of shading. Now we're going to switch the light off when it becomes day. Okay, so we're going to use the sleep. Should really use a loop, but just for the example, I'll uh, copy and paste the code. So just removing the red and green, which is obviously yellow. So back to the blue background. Run it again. Okay, so we're going to leave the last part as if the lamp is still warm. So that, that will be the last part that's turned off. I wouldn't recommend using C++ console for graphics as I've said before but if you just need a one-off screen or a couple of screens this is a method of doing that. Okay so we just have a sleep time. And let the last part of light turn off as if it's cooling down.
Okay, so quite a slow walk through may help a couple of you. Just an example of what you can do with the character set and the C++ console.